we get terrified just watching Stranger Things, especially the fourth season. The actors who had to perform those freaky scenes had it much worse off, and we've got the scoop on just how brave they had to be to make these scary moments happen. Number 1. Run Max Run Yeah, it was pretty intense. No kidding. We were freaked out just watching it. But to be performing that emotionally exhausting scene live? The fact that they spent so long doing it definitely didn't help. That was shot over, I don't know how many, I think it might have been a week that we spent on that. While the set wasn't nearly as big as what it looks like and Sadie Sink filmed in a smaller, more controlled environment without details like the vines and such, it was all just enough to freak her out. And while it wasn't fun for her, it was great for the cameras. Number two. Sometimes the scariest creatures are just below our noses. We're talking bullies. That's right. As scary as Vecna and the Demogorgon creatures of Volume 4 are, there is still something frightening about the meanness of a bully and just how cruel they can be. A lot of the horror comes from the humans in the story, the darkness within all of us. We've seen some real mean-spirited people in this show, and the fact that people can actually be that hurtful makes it that much scarier. Number three. This was a one-shot wonder. For real. And this should feel real-time and viscerally connected. This one-shot shootout battle made for a whole lot of planning. It was gonna be hard. It was gonna be near impossible. One intense choreo session that saw the director playing everyone's parts led to a scene that would be easy for the performers to act terrified during. I do believe that the best way to feed my actors energy is by giving them energy. If we were those actors, we would have been okay with just a bit less energy. Number 4. The Demogorgon is back, bigger and badder than ever. Would we expect anything less from this team? Let's let this thing loose and see what it can do. And that they did. The sequence was so intense to shoot, they actually had to break it down into three different parts, meaning the torture went on much longer than the performers would have liked. The stunt team that performed this wild sequence are trained professionals and have done freaky stunts before, but this scene was next level. Swinging upside down wildly definitely wouldn't be top of our list either. Number 5. This is the stuff that nightmares are made of. Not like my goal is to make children not be able to sleep. That's what he says, but the show? Well, it seems to indicate otherwise. It's gonna be very exciting, very scary. We've seen flashier monsters before, but with Vecna... And we wanted something that was much more sentient. When Millie Bobby Brown first came face to face with Jamie Campbell Bower in all his makeup, the actress was totally shook. So terrified that she just burst into tears and sobbed uncontrollably. We can't imagine who wouldn't be freaked out by Vecna. Now we have an emotionally invested, motivated, and revenge desiring character. Number six. This wasn't a casual swim. Yeah, seeing Steve dive so deep is freaky. But what's even more terrifying is the fact that it was the actor himself performing that stunt. The place of his nightmares was the giant water tank. It was in a big convention center in Atlanta. Luckily, Joe Keery had been prepping and had anticipated swimming for the show in the first season. And in the script, they're like, yeah, you're gonna be a swimmer. And while it took four seasons to literally dive in, Keery's prep helped him for sure. But it didn't take away all the nerves of filming such an intense sequence underwater. Getting to do that sort of stuff is like true movie magic. Number seven, it got real cold. Poor David Harbour went through the ringer filming Hopper's escape in Russia since he had to immerse himself right into the tough stuff. For a lot of it, I'm running shoeless and it's really not pleasant. The physical aspect was not fun at all, but what really shook the actor was how much it affected his psyche. It was brutal like uh, physically in that way and it was also kind of brutal emotionally. We've got a feeling he wouldn't want to go through that again. Number 8. The darkest season so far, that is. Season 4 has not disappointed. Season 4, it was let's go Nightmare on Elm Street, let's go Hellraiser. And now that the actors were a bit older, they weren't worried about pushing them as much, so things got intense. For the first time for them, it's like it's really, we wanted it to be really scary. So what better way to get those terrified reactions than by actually terrifying the cast? Let's just push this and try to be as scary as possible and put them in the middle of a true horror film. Balancing the comedy with the horror was key for this season, making the big clashes and vibes even more evident. It felt like right to go darker. Number 9. 
She spun and she spun and then, well, she nearly puked. When it came time to film the sequence that sees Eleven falling into Billy's memories, the actress had no choice but to perform the freaky stunt, leaving her totally nauseous and gagging. Physically, it was exhausting, and feeling all that while filming content that's supposed to be intense? Well, we can understand if she had some trouble sleeping afterwards. Number 10. Baths are supposed to be relaxing, but not in this show. Can anyone blame Francesca Real for being horrified while filming this scene? Well, the pool was scary for a few reasons. The actress shared that, I hate any body of water that has a black bottom. And this pool, you guessed it, had a black bottom. But she wasn't alone in the pool. No, no. Real shared, They had this amazing mechanism that attached to my foot and whenever I was ready, I would go down underwater and the mechanism would tug me down. Yeah, we're not so sure we'd call that mechanism amazing. More like something that could potentially drown you. Number 11. Nothing about this sounds fun. We're throwing back to season two and the attempts to get rid of the monster attached to Will and to say it was traumatic is putting it lightly. Schnapp tried to remain professional throughout the process, but the struggle was real. He explained, there were so many angles and shots that they had to do for each shot. Like you have to give it your all. So every angle, every different shot, it was just constantly screaming. Okay, so we can conclude the experience of filming this scene was equal parts terrifying and exhausting. Number 12. Say it ain't so. The reaction Will Byers' mom was having on the show dealing with the loss of Will was pretty close to what Noah Schnapp's actual mom experienced when the Duffer Brothers played quite the cruel and dark joke on her. The prosthetic Will body that's used as a fake in the first season was terrifyingly realistic, so we can understand why Schnapp's actual mom was shook when she first saw it. Fortunately, she found the joy in it soon enough and wound up taking photos with the dummy. Number 13. Being trapped underwater is usually terrifying. The nerves we feel just thinking of all of Eleven's time spent in the tank facing terrifying images every time are real. So we can only begin to imagine the kind of nightmares Millie was having since she was actually filming underwater, with only a Sea Trek helmet in place that allowed her to breathe. If she weren't afraid of drowning before, we wouldn't be surprised if she was after this. Number 14. If you know, you know. I, I'm terrified like if an, anything happens. Demogorgons are terrifying, we know that for sure. But for toddlers that were hanging around on set for the first season, well, they were fully unsettled. Even Millie was freaking out on the inside. I'm yeah. frightened about everything. Since they did have to get through filming, one of the grown-ups on set tried to help the actors through it by telling them it was the same monster they knew from Monsters, Inc. A surprising comparison, but it worked for the kids. Number 15. They didn't know what hit them. These young actors faced their fears time and time again in the early years. But for season 4 to truly frighten them, well, it's not something they anticipated. Definitely exceeded my expectations with how scary they could go. But just how scary would they say it is? Oh, definitely an 11. Yeah, we'll stay on this side of the screen. Those scenes brought the actors some serious fear, and with good reason. Which scene would you be most scared to film? 